You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 17 to 28. While Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, He took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers, but Jesus called them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave, just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. May we find meaning in everything that comes along our way today. Again, we have already heard this story, where the mother of James and John wanted her two sons to get a higher position in the kingdom, which she had no idea what that kingdom was all about. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking for. It was mere ambition that motivated the mother and her two sons. But what grabbed my attention more was the collective behavior of the apostles. Did they even hear what Jesus was telling them about his impending death, the harrowing and distressing brutality that he was to suffer for their sake and all humanity? They were not listening at all. Instead, they were too preoccupied with their concerns, yes, with their ambitions. True, it was James and John who owned it up. But the Gospel says when the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers. Why were they angry? Dahil ba sa naisahan sila? What if Jesus considered their request? Then, they would have been probably left with a lower position. Was that the reason for being angry? That being said, my thoughts shifted to their motives for following Jesus. Have Christ's disciples ever considered payoffs for their services with Jesus? That also leaves us with the same question for reflection. In volunteering my time or my talents for charitable, educational, or other worthwhile activities, especially in the church 
and in my community, do I give my services for free or do I resent it if I am not given any compensation? When I do some favors for people in need, even for my own family and relatives, do I do it out of love? Or do I always expect something in return and even do it with certain conditions sometimes? Remember what Charles Glassman said, Giving without expectation leads to receiving without limitation. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.